CIET NCERT presents audiobook of mathematics for class 7 chapter 5 lines and angles page 106 5.3.4 transversal of parallel lines do you remember what Parallel lines are? They are lines on a plane that do not meet anywhere. Can you identify parallel lines in the following figures? Figure 5.27 We have four different figures given here. Transversals of parallel lines give rise to quite interesting results. Page 107 Do this. Take a ruled sheet of paper. Draw, in thick color, two parallel lines L and M. Draw a transversal T to the lines L and M. Label angle 1 and angle 2 as shown. Figure 5.281 Place a tracing paper over the figure drawn. Trace the lines L, M and T. Slide the tracing paper along T until L coincides with M. You find that angle 1 on the traced figure coincides with angle 2 of the original figure. In fact, you can see all the following results by similar tracing and sliding activity. 1. Angle 1 is equal to angle 2. 2. Angle 3 is equal to angle 4. 3. Angle 5 is equal to angle 6. 4. Angle 7 is equal to angle 8. We have four different figures given in figure 5.28. This activity illustrates the following fact. If two parallel lines are cut by a transversal, each pair of corresponding angles are equal in measure. We use this result to get another interesting result. Look at figure 5.29. When T cuts the parallel lines L, M, we get Angle 3 is equal to angle 7, vertically opposite angles. But angle 7 is equal to angle 8, corresponding angles. Therefore, angle 3 is equal to angle 8. Page 108 You can similarly show that angle 1 is equal to angle 6. Thus, we have the following result. If two parallel lines are cut by a transversal, each pair of alternate interior angles are equal. This second result leads to another interesting property. Again, from figure 5.29, angle 3 plus angle 1 is equal to 180 degrees. Angle 3 and angle 1 form a linear pair. But angle 1 is equal to angle 6, a pair of alternate interior angles. Therefore, we can say that angle 3 plus angle 6 is equal to 180 degrees. Similarly, angle 1 plus angle 8 is equal to 180 degrees. Thus, we obtain the following result. If two parallel lines are cut by a transversal, then each pair of interior angles on the same side of the transversal are supplementary. You can very easily remember these results if you can look for relevant shapes. The F shape stands for corresponding angles. The Z shape stands for 
alternate angles. Do this. Draw a pair of parallel lines and a transversal. Verify the above three statements by actually measuring the angles. Page 109 Try these. We have six different figures given here. Let's talk about them. Figure 1 Lines L and M are parallel. T is a transversal. Angle X is equal to dash. Figure 2 Lines A and B are parallel. C is a transversal. Angle Y is equal to dash. Figure 3 L1, L2 be two lines. T is a transversal. Is angle 1 equal to angle 2? Figure 4 Lines L and M are parallel. T is a transversal. Angle Z is equal to dash. Figure 5 Lines L and M are parallel. T is a transversal. Angle X is equal to dash. Figure 6 Lines L and M are parallel. Lines P and Q are parallel. Find A, B, C, D. 5.4 Checking for parallel lines If two lines are parallel, then you know that a transversal gives rise to pairs of equal corresponding angles equal alternate interior angles and interior angles on the same side of the transversal being supplementary. When two lines are given, is there any method to check if they are parallel or not? You need this skill in many life-oriented situations. A draftsman uses a carpenter's square and a straight edge or a ruler to draw these segments. Figure 5.30 He claims they are parallel. How? Are you able to see that he has kept the corresponding angles to be equal? What is the transversal here? Thus, when a transversal cuts two lines, such that pairs of corresponding angles are equal, then the lines have to be parallel. Look at the letter Z, figure 5.31. The horizontal segments here are parallel because the alternate angles are equal. When a transversal cuts two lines, such that pairs of alternate interior angles are equal. When a transversal cuts two lines, such that pairs of alternate interior angles are equal, the lines have to be parallel. Page 110 Draw a line L. Figure 5.32 Draw a line M perpendicular to L. Again, draw a line P such that P is perpendicular to M. Thus, P is perpendicular to a perpendicular to L. You will find P is parallel to L. How? This is because you draw P such that angle 1 plus angle 2 is equal to 180 degrees. Thus, when a transversal cuts two lines, such that pairs of interior angles on the same side of the transversal are supplementary, 
the lines have to be parallel. Try these. We have three different figures here. Let's ask questions about all of them. Figure 1. Is L parallel to M? Why? Figure 2. Is L parallel to M? Why? Figure 3. If L is parallel to M, what is angle X? Exercise 5.2 1. State the property that is used in each of the following statements. 1. If A is parallel to B, then angle 1 is equal to angle 5. 2. If angle 4 is equal to angle 6, then A is parallel to B. 3. If angle 4 plus angle 5 is equal to 180 degrees, then A is parallel to B. Here a figure is given in which A is parallel to B. 2. In the adjoining figure, identify 1. The pairs of corresponding angles. 2. The pairs of alternate interior angles. 3. The pairs of interior angles on the same side of the transversal. 4. The vertically opposite angles. Here in this figure, C is the transversal to lines A and B. C and A cut each other and form angles 1, 2, 3 and 4. C and B cut each other and form angles 5, 6, 7 and 8. 3. In the adjoining figure, P is parallel to Q. Find the unknown angles. Here, a figure is given in which P is parallel to Q. One of the known angles is 125 degrees. Unknown angles are angle A, B, C, D, E and F. Page 111 4. Find the value of X in each of the following figures if L is parallel to M. 5. In the given figure, the arms of two angles are parallel. If angle ABC is equal to 70 degrees, then find 1. Angle DGC 2. Angle DEF 6. In the given figures below, decide whether L is parallel to M. We have four different figures given here. What have we discussed? 1. We recall that 1. A line segment has two end points. 2. A ray has only one end point, that is, its initial point. And 3. A line has no end points on either side. 2. An angle is formed when two lines, or rays, or line segments meet. Pairs of angles, condition, two complementary angles, measures add up to 90 degrees, two supplementary angles, measures add up to 180 degrees, two adjacent angles, have a common vertex and a common arm, but no common interior. Linear pair, adjacent and supplementary. 3. When two lines L and M meet, we say they intersect. The meeting point is called the point of intersection. When lines drawn on a sheet of paper do not meet, however far produced, we call them to be parallel lines. Page 112 4. 
1. When two lines intersect, looking like the letter X, we have two pairs of opposite angles. They are called vertically opposite angles. They are equal in measure. 2. A transversal is a line that intersects two or more lines at distinct points. 3. A transversal gives rise to several types of angles. 4. In the figure we have types of angles, angles shown. Interior, angle 3, 4, 5, 6. Exterior, angle 1, 2, 7, 8. Corresponding, angle 1 and angle 5, angle 2 and angle 6, angle 3 and angle 7, angle 4 and angle 8. Alternate interior, angle 3 and angle 6, angle 4 and angle 5. Alternate exterior, angle 1 and angle 8, angle 2 and angle 7. Interior, on the same side of transversal, angle 3 and angle 5, angle 4 and angle 6. 5. When a transversal cuts two parallel lines, we have the following interesting relationships. Each pair of corresponding angles are equal. Angle 1 is equal to angle 5, angle 3 is equal to angle 7, angle 2 is equal to angle 6, Angle 4 is equal to angle 8. Each pair of alternate interior angles are equal. Angle 3 is equal to angle 6. Angle 4 is equal to angle 5. Each pair of interior angles on the same side of transversal are supplementary. Angle 3 plus angle 5 is equal to 180 degrees. Angle 4 plus angle 6 is equal to 180 degrees. You were just listening to the audiobook Mathematics for Class 7. Narrator Gaurav Marva. Assistance in Production Samya Malik. Producer Vimlesh Chaudhary. Presented by CIET NCERT New Delhi, India.